you're a beginner, I probably suggest a short string, but maybe you have a long string. Maybe you're experienced with wands. Let's just stop this. So the most usual question is, what is the difference between a long string and a short string? First of all, the string length. Long string, short string. Long string, long, 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 long string. Short string, short. Short string. <laughs> so, how is they? How are they used differently? With a short string, you're going to have a finger loop swivel attachment to your string. This is just a little rubbery plastic band. When you get it. You hold it like this, you fold these two pieces together, and you stick your finger through like this. Check it out from camera mode. Now, you're just going to let that thing go. And how you use this wand is this hand is your free hand in the short string case. This hand is your wand hand. You're going to use your wand hand to control all of these wand movement, but you're going to use your free hand to add illusion and follow the movements of the wand. So, short string. Connected to one hand, you use both hands as a finger loop. Now, long string. Now, with long string, how I suggest is you lay it flat on the ground, you get your finger in between the string, and you pull, leaving the wand flat. I like to just step on mine lightly. Keep pulling until you reach the end. It'll be a loop, and it'll look like this. This is how your hand will look. Now, you're going to open that up, put it around your neck, and secure it. Now, you're going to pinch those two strands back together. This Now, your free hand is going to be your second hand. This is going to be your, it's going to be a, a backup control. I'll get more into it in a second. Pinch together, pinch away. Now you're going to do the same thing. Keep the two strings together. You can see kind of, let's do this. It's open and then I pinch it between my fingers. Now, you're going to take this first hand, the second hand, we're just calling it now, and you're going to pull the string away until the wand reaches your hand. You do that the first time. Now you can gain control of your wand, use this hand to release a little string by just adding lag and loosening, bringing one hand closer to the wand where the string is connected. And now you can open this hand and swivel your wrist and do maneuvers similar to that of short string. Now, to add illusion with this hand, you can just bring it a little closer what I'm doing right now is just wrapping the string in my fingers. You can feel free to loosen this hand completely by letting go, gaining control with the wand hand again, and adding the illusion similar to that of the short string. Ta da! So, those are the basic differences between long string and short string. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope it was informative. If you have any more questions, please ask down below. Check out the links in the bio to get your own pixie wand from Pixie Tales. Uh, enjoy time all the time. I'm still here. It was a lie.